Look, you want to know why people show favoritism towards certain people and not you? I'm going to tell you why. Because you don't want to be nobody's favorite. You don't want to fit in. See, this is the thing. We, we the type of individuals to where we don't go outside of ourselves seeking acceptance or validation from anybody. We don't go outside of ourselves trying to please people that's not worth pleasing meaning we don't please people in general but this thing people not gonna people gonna show favoritism towards you just to make you uncomfortable because i guess it's their way of letting you it's their way of trying to make you uncomfortable but this the thing it don't work because guess what we not trying to be your favorite i don't want to be your favorite why would i who are you and what are you and what type of person are you the, that just gonna make me say hey I want to prove myself to you. I want you to like me. I want you to accept me. You're nobody. You're nobody. People not going to like you because we don't live our life according to validation or opinion. I don't want to be your favorite. What makes you... I would be a loser if I was to live my life according to trying to please people and trying to get people to look at me in a certain way that's beneficial towards them. See, this is what your this is what your siblings gonna do. This is what people in the co work. This is what co workers gonna do. This is what people gonna do in general for the simple fact that they not even in the same league as you. But this thing they want an ego boost. See, this the thing when people live based off ego. When people live a very egotistical lifestyle, meaning they need to. They need to do little strategic things in order to make themselves feel good. They don't feel good in general because they're hurting internally. They'll never feel good because they haven't healed internally. But this is the thing. They need to distract themselves with pleasure. They need to distract themselves with with things that's going to be that, with things that they deem that's going to benefit them in a way that boosts their ego. If y'all can understand what I'm saying. Meaning, you gonna have people. You you gonna have people that just gonna they gonna try to make you uncomfortable. They gonna try to be in secret competition with you. Meaning, they're gonna you, a lot of people is in competition with you. You might not even know it, but who cares? But this is thing. A lot of people is in competition with you for the simple fact that they know for a fact that you winning. You don't have to say nothing. Our presence speaks for itself. Our presence speaks for itself. See, this is the thing. It like I, I'm a, and I'ma keep saying this. It's in us, not on us. We don't go outside of ourselves seeking validation or attention from anybody. We don't do that. We don't crave that from nobody. We don't do that. But I'm finna, I'm finna be honest. We're not attention seekers and we're not people pleasers. And this is the thing. We're not giving because we're tired of giving. Because every time we give, this is the thing. Every time. We give to somebody, they ain't going to do nothing but take what we give them and um use it, take what we give and use it in a way that's beneficial towards them, leaving us with nothing. So we not giving no more. We not giving. Uh -uh. Everything that I get, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, when I get, I'm, a, I'm getting it to myself because I can't keep giving more than what I'm receiving. And if, and if this is the thing. If you find yourself giving more than more than what you getting, you need to get away from people. You're going to need to because those are users. People don't have their best interest in heart for you. I promise you they don't. And it's always the people that's closest to you. People don't have their best interest. They just looking for a way to maneuver in their wife so that maneuver their way in your life to, so that they can use you. Them, a lot of people, your friends, your family, these people ain't happy for you. These people do not like y'all. I'm finna be honest, your parents, look, your parents, narcissistic parents, your siblings, you might love them. And you might forgive them, but don't forget they'll never like you. They'll never they'll never like you. They'll never accept you. They going they going to continue to do they going to continue to move in mal malicious and evil ways for the simple fact that's where they come from. They don't come from where we come from, which is the source. They come from the underground. They yeah, they come from the underground. They don't come from the higher up. They come from the underground. So at the end of the day, so at the end of the day, we don't pledge, we don't pledge their allegiance which is evil 
and they can't get us to, they, they cannot manipulate us and trick us out of our position to where we can play, pledge their allegiance, which is evil. We're righteous. So this is the thing. We're not going to, we can't fit in with y'all anyway for the simple fact that we come from two different worlds. And that's and, and and that's it's more than friends and family. That's people in society. That's people in general. Meaning, a lot of people in life they not living like that. They're not living like that. I promise you, they not. They live. They 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 live in a make believe world. They live in a dream world. They develop these unrealistic expectations in order to boost their ego. Meaning. They don't live in reality for the simple fact that they didn't have the strength to face reality. They didn't self-reflect. So at the end of the day, when you come across an individual that's correct, when you come across an individual that possesses integrity, morals and principles, I'm going to keep saying this because it's the truth. It intimidates them, but this is the thing. I don't care that it intimidates you because you're a loser to me. You're, you got to understand something. If people not doing what you're doing, if people not doing what you're doing, if they not in, a, if they not on the level that you that you are on, and you know that, but this is the thing, they're gonna try to come around you. They're gonna try to come around you, and make it and and try to make it seem as though they're on the same level as you for the simple fact that they know you got everything going on for yourself. But this thing, you gotta ask yourself one question. If we don't even worry about what people are doing, we don't, we ain't in nobody business. We could care less about what other people are doing, but for some reason, everybody want to compete. Everybody want to find out what we doing. Everybody want to come around just to, hey man, you, hey bro, um, Robert, I ain't gonna lie, I got all these women, I got all these girls. Who told you that I, I'm finna be honest, sir? I'm finna be honest. Who told you that I was impressed for the simple fact that you coming up to another man trying to tell me what you got? I never walk up to another man and be that happy. I'm sorry, like I'm finna, I'm not, I'm not even a female. I'm not finna tell you what I'm doing. Who are you? For me, who are you? For the simple fact, who who are you? And what connection did I develop with you in order for me to start telling you what I'm doing and what's my business? I don't care if I long known you for thirty years. I don't know you. I don't care if. Let me tell you something. Mama, sister, daddy, brother, grandma, cousin. I don't know you individuals. I'm not connected to you individuals. You cannot force a connection upon people when you don't develop a connection. I have no intimate connection connections with you individuals. So there is no reason why you should be coming up to me trying to get me to um, accept you. I, I, this thing, I love you and I already accepted you for who you are. But at the end of the day, I'm not impressed by you for the simple fact that I don't worry about what other people is doing and for the simple fact that I already know most people, you, most people, you're not even taking action behind your words. You just, you just talking. And now you're trying to get around me and you're trying to make me feel good for the simple fact that, okay, Robert actually doing this. He actually doing it. But this is the thing. These people don't come around you for the simple fact that they want to cherish you and value you. No, they want to come around you to take from you. They want to come around you to steal from you. They want to come around and take every little thing and 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 twist it and make it their own reality. It'll never happen though because it's destiny. See, this is the thing. What we see, this is the thing. When you're when you are ordained by God, nothing can stop you. Nobody can steal from you. Nobody can plagiarize. Plagiarization is for the mind of a fool. That's what them teachers taught us in school. Meaning, you ever just um, got an essay at school, but this thing you had the mindset to where. You know what? I'm going to just copy and paste some stuff offline. But as soon as you got to school, your teacher could tell that you plagiarized and she going to hand it back to you and say, here, look, I don't want that. You just copied and pasted that off Google. Exactly. So you can't plagiarize because at the end of the day, it's not going to work for you. It's not going to, you ain't going to get nothing good out of stealing. And then on top of that, God got, God not going to bless you because you stealing. Yeah. He, he not. But yeah, but anyway, like I say, the whole favoritism thing, let me tell you something. Nobody cares about favoritism because we're, when you're winning, you're not going to care about that. But this thing, they, people want to make it. This is the thing. People want to make it. They want to put it in your face, meaning they want you to see that 
that they are certain people's favorites. But this is the thing, you gotta understand something. Let's just use narcissistic parents, for example. If you're the golden child, if you're the golden child, you're not even a favorite child for the simple fact that you're under you're under manipulation. That's not love. This thing, how can you be excited? How can you be excited or happy that your mother or your father deemed you as the favorite when they didn't even, they don't even love you? They manipulated you. You're under a spell. You're under manipulation. But this is the thing. Do you honestly think somebody like me who's free and that's not under manipulation? How does that look to me? Knowing for a fact I'm winning because I'm free. You're a slave. Don't come, don't come to me with that favoritism stuff because guess what? You're not even that favorite. You're the only reason why you're the favorite is because you allowed yourself to uh you allowed yourself to fall under codependency. You say you allowed yourself to um you allowed your you signed your life away to um this person, meaning you don't think for yourself no more, you don't feel for yourself no more. So it's so you excited, but you're excited because you have no access to your individuality. Oh my god, that's so dumb. That's dumb. Your mama think for you. Your daddy um, think for you. Yo, and if you're in a relationship, your girl think for you or your husband think for you. If, you don't, if you're not an individual that think or feel for yourself, and if you need individuals around you to think or feel for you, you're weak. You're weak. And guess what? You get, get, go on ahead, look, go on ahead and, and be the favorite because guess what? I promise you I don't want to be your – I promise you I don't want to be the favorite. I do not not want you to look at me – as the um, golden child, and I don't want you to look at me in a way that's, to, in a way that okay, Robert is my favorite. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. Favoritism is not a good thing. It's not a good thing. That and when and this the thing, but you're gonna this is the thing. People are gonna like being favored. People are gonna like. I guess people like. People like favoritism because. It gives them a sense. It's 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 the attention that come with it, but it gets them a sense of power. Meaning, yeah, I'm the favorite. My mama don't like, mama don't like Robert, but this the thing. I don't care because guess what? I'm her favorite. She likes me, but what you don't realize is she don't like you either. You just a pun in her game. Cause when she done with you, and when these people done with you, they gon they gon disown you and they gon disband you and they gon throw you away. And guess what? They gon go to this thing. And guess what? You guess what? They gonna get look. They gonna go on to the next favorite, and this is the thing. You this is the thing. You're gonna see that because these people gonna leave you high and dry. This is for people who people please. But this is the thing. It's, it's I see now that people like love being people pleasers because I guess it's a way for them to escape reality and for them to just fit in. But I, like I say, like I say. I wouldn't look if if you if you dealing with people if you just know people showing favoritism towards other people and not you don't you can't look at it like that no that means you have to understand something that means you're free that means you're winning that means you are doing everything right you shouldn't want somebody to look at you and show favoritism as you because that's going outside of yourself you got to ask yourself who are you because if you know yourself you're not gonna go outside of yourself seeking validation or attention are craving that from anybody. Stay blessed.